back to Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold. I'm with Murray Wood. Murray Wood is the Chief Development Officer for the COC Foundation, uh, the College of the Canyons locally. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Th it's a pleasure for me to be here today. I appreciate the opportunity. Oh, you're very welcome. You. I want to highlight on this this edition of, of the kind of the uh, uh, non-profit spotlight. You've been there for four years, uh, very involved in, in College of the Canyons. Tell us about College of the Canyons and, and the all the services they provide locally for students of the Santa Clarita Valley in the greater LA area. College of the Canyons is the uh, second largest institution for higher education in the northern um, part of Los Angeles County. We have about 25,000 students and uh, we provide not only opportunities for students to get their undergraduate work done in the first two years and then transfer over to UCLA or USC, but it also we're deeply committed to help train people for career and this really uh, jobs that are open right this second. So career training and education is a very, very important thing that we fill. And we work very closely with government, we work very closely with industry and business to help fill the kinds of openings that their workforces need to be able to continue their work. And that's been a big emphasis here in Santa Clarita, which is let's, let's train, the, not everyone's gonna go to a four-year university, not everybody's going to get a, a, a master's or doctorate. A lot of people want some training so they can go get a job now, earn a great living for their family, and, and that's one thing COC does. Let's also talk about the university center. I was going to say, yeah, we have um, a unique facility on our campus that doesn't exist anywhere in California, and there's only two others in the United States. And that is, we have a facility we call it our university center. And the University Center is a uh, place where people who desire to get bachelor's and master's degrees, and we're even negotiating for a doctoral degree, to be able to do it still living and working in the Santa Clarita Valley and not having to pick up and go anywhere else at the end of the day if you're a working um, person and you've got a job and you want to improve yourself and get a, a higher degree, it would mean that you'd have to get into your car at the end of the day, drive over the hill, find mm -hmm. parking, and uh, it becomes a real burden. But right now you can do it right here on uh, our campus at San, in Santa Clarita. Yeah. And we've actually had over the past four or five years close to 4,000 students who have been participated in programs like Gone that. Gone through that program. So so good stuff. CLC is doing a lot of great stuff for the community. Um, yeah. yeah, I was going to say one of the other things that highlights what we do is we're right now working on a special project to build a culinary arts center on campus. For the last four years we've actually had a culinary program but what we're trying to do now is to make it simpler and to be able to have more students be able to participate. Uh, in the restaurant and food industry today in the United States is the second largest private sector employee employer of people in the United States. So that makes it one of the most important aspects of our economy. Probably close to 15% of our economy comes from the restaurant and food industry. So what we do is we actually provide professional training for people to be able to enter that field. Um, they, some want to become chefs, some want to actually be involved with food service and other aspects of it. Management, you know what I love about that, Murray? Is I love the fact that you can go local I love the fact that the cost is significantly less than if you were to go to another culinary arts school, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars for a school. In fact, um, locally, there's one institution out in Pasadena which charges seventy-three thousand dollars a year. Oh, that's and, a lot of money. And counterbalance that and compare that with what we charge at forty-six dollars a unit. It's about five thousand dollars to get the same basic education. In fact, our students sometimes are more in demand than students from some of these other large for-profit making programs. We're nonprofits. Some of these others are very, you see on TV with the commercials, they're profit, profit making mm -hmm. uh, programs. So it just highlights what we try to do is to work with industry and help fill the workforce needs that those industries have. And of course the foundation, that kind of brings it together because it's the COC Foundation with it, you're the chief development officer for that raises funds for this school, for example, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. The state you know, who prov provides some support for colleges and universities doesn't come near uh, being able to um, fulfill what it actually costs to train a student. And so 
Um, more and more what we do is raise scholarship funds to help students. Last year we actually gave out uh, $260,000 scholarships and um, it's the thousand dollars doesn't seem like a lot but for a student who's struggling or who's a single parent or a parent who's had her, their family in returning, a thousand dollars may make all the difference in the world for them to be able to attend school. It might be the difference between going to school, not going to school. It might be the difference between having the confidence to make a better life. And, and that's what's so great. The COC Foundation, how can those that want to contribute, be involved, get involved, how can they, how can they contact uh, the foundation? We're the philanthropic arm. We're the tax deductible arm for the college. And uh, we have a variety of programs. You can call us at the college. I'll give you my direct number. It's 661-362-3433. Uh, That's 362-3433. And there are a variety of things that people can do, almost indefinite in terms of um, what people would like to help support. Mm -hmm. And uh, we certainly look forward to that. Yeah, you can contribute dollars. You can contribute time. You can contribute to fundraising events, you could really get involved in some We ways. just have been working on a campus community garden relating to our sustainability interest on the campus. And the program was a $61,000 program, which we didn't raise a dollar for because we got in-kind contributions from, from some funds. very valuable companies and corporations that were in the business. So yeah. Very good, very good. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you very much for you know, allowing your leadership to make so many things happen. Ladies and gentlemen, Murray Wood. Murray Wood with the COC Foundation. Well, if you enjoyed this show and you'd like to watch uh, more online, go to www.scbtv.com or fredarnold.com. If you have some questions for, for myself or you'd like to suggest a guest, please email me, fred at fredarnold.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Out of the Rough, and this helps get you out of the rough and into success, both personally and professionally. Thank you, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.